K-I-L-R Taylor Games Hello, gamers, simmers, and pilots. I am the Killer Gamer, and welcome back to the World Tour featuring Pro Pilot. Sierra's Pro Pilot. Some would call Pro Pilot 98. At least it says that on the box, but it's just uh, Pro Pilot. So, uh, let's go ahead and talk about where we are and uh, where we're going to be going here. Alright, so you all know this map right here. Good old sublogic. So we're here at Bloomington Normal. And just like all the other simulators, we are flying right over here to University of Illinois Willard. Willard! This is where we are flying. So we'll be tuning in to Champagne at 110.0. We can fly out of Bloomington at a, I don't know, heading of uh, 120 or 130. And uh, that should get us uh, to where we uh, want to go. There is this clicking sound. <laughs> I think that is the co-pilot uh, trying to make um, stuff. Because I have it. I went in here to mode and I put in dual flight. And I select a co-pilot on board. Um, I'm, I'm going to have them hand, call off airspeed and handle radio communication and nav radios. So, yeah, I, uh, I put that on there. And so he's probably uh, trying to turn things on. <laughs> let's go ahead and let's help him out here. Let's turn stuff on here. So we got to go ahead and... Turn our fuel, and then S for start, and we can turn on the radio power. Flight information, Lima 416, Zulu weather, measured ceiling 49er, 100, broken, temperature 59er, 2.55, wind 239er at 9er, altimeter 29er, 9er, 0, landing and departing runway 2. Departures contact ground on 121.65. Arrivals contact approach on 118.05. Advise controller on initial contact. You have information. Mima. Mima. <laughs> Mima. Flight information. Mima. 416. Zulu weather. <laughs> Measured ceiling. 4. 9. 100. Broken. Temperature. 5. 9. Or 2. Point. Cessna 9572 Lima with information Lima. Request clearance to Charlie, Mike, India. Cessna 9572 Lima, clear to Charlie, Mike, India via radar vectors to direct Charlie, Mike, India. Climb and maintain 5,000. Expect 5,000. 10 minutes after departure. Departure frequency 118.05. Squawk 1164. Climb and maintain 5,000. Squawk. 1164 Cessna 72 Lima. Well, Cessna 9572 Lima, request taxi for takeoff. Cessna 9572 Lima, taxi to runway 21, hold short of the active. Taxi to runway 21, hold short, Cessna 72 Lima. Yeah, that's where we're at. Because when you set your flight plan up, it puts you right there at the runway that you need to go to. Contact tower at 124.6, Cessna 72 Lima, good day. Tower at Cessna 9 or 5, 7, 2 Lima, holding short of 2, 1. Cessna 72 Lima, hold for arriving aircraft. Cessna 72 Lima. 
Learjet 53 Foxtrot. Climb runway heading and continue climb. Learjet 53 Foxtrot. Does anybody see one coming? Arriving aircraft. I thought I saw something for a moment. Hold for arriving aircraft. Cessna 9 or 7 Alpha, fly runway heading and continue climb. Cessna 9 or 7 Alpha. Cessna 9 or 5 7 2 Lima, taxi into position and hold runway 2 1. Position and hold runway 2 1 Cessna 7 2 Lima. Okay, that's Cessna us. Oh. Clear for takeoff, runway 21. <laughs> Clear for takeoff, runway 21, Cessna 72 Lima. It just automatically puts us on the runway. You know, convenience, I guess. <laughs> Maybe we should turn on our lights here. Goes Bloomington Normal. Cessna 72 Lima, contact departure on 118.058. Contact departure on 118.05, Cessna 72 Lima, good day. Departure Cessna 9572 Lima. Cessna 9572 Lima, radar contact, proceed direct to Charlie Mike, India. Cessna 72 Lima. Cessna 72 Lima, climb and maintain 6,000. Whoa! Climb and maintain 6,000. Cessna 72 Lima. 6,000? My goodness, that's a little high. Now, this co pilot is supposed to be setting our radios too, but I don't know if he is. Um, I know I will set it though. Champagne is 110.0. I don't think we're close enough yet for this uh, to light up and say we're there. Hey, we're turning. We are turning way off course here. Yeah, you know how it is. Wind just kind of blows you off. I 
still being blown off course here. Cessna 72 Lima, fly heading 130. Oh. Fly heading 130, Cessna 72 Lima. Okay. I guess we're doing alright then. One three zero. It's over a little too much. Okay, and then Nav One is activated, so we got twenty six miles uh, to go, or twenty seven miles. 28. <laughs> Why are we going away from it? We should be heading towards it. Turn in here. This really likes to get you to turn when you don't want to. Hang on here. I think. May have figured out I moved the heading bug uh, it was hard to see it on a small screen I've um, <clears throat> I've enlarged uh, the resolution or shrunk the resolution however you want to say it so that way it looks bigger for me rather than in a tiny window. Yeah, this is good. And there's the airport. I don't quite too far from it. And we can shorten our use of screen real estate there. And shrink down the uh, control panel. Cessna 
Looks like we're climbing way up to 6,000 and we'll be going back down. I wonder if we should just top it off at around 5. I think I might actually do that. Trying to get ourselves leveled off here. Oh, I am seeing some of the clouds up here, and they look blocky, just like the ones from Flight Simulator 5 and 98. <laughs> I thought we were 22 miles away. Now it says we're 29 miles away. 30 miles away. Or is that minutes? Oh my, we are slowing down. Okay, at least I can see this now. And this is really easy to get confused here because you got NM and MN. So it's 28.26.5 nautical miles, 22 MN minutes or 21 minutes until we get to our destination. Talk about late. My goodness. Staring at this at nighttime and it being nighttime in real life is really tiring. <laughs> Can't really see anything because we're way up into the air. Matter of fact, we're a little too far up in the air. We're like 7,000 feet. Let's 
bring it down here. Yeah, we're way too high. So we're like above the clouds and everything. Look at this. Oh look, you can see the clouds. They are blocky. Look at that. Just like Windows 90 or Windows Flight Simulator 95 and also uh, uh, Flight Simulator 98. Test a 7-2 Lima. Descent maintained 7,000. Descent maintained 7,000. Cessna 7-2 Lima. Okay, so they want us to descend. To 7,000. The trim doesn't seem to be doing anything. You guys notice that? Yeah, I know. I'm trying to do that. There it goes. Finally. Now it wants to go back up again. I think it's this autopilot. I didn't even have the alternator set on the uh, autopilot, but... Oh, we're going down now. See now I've got the alter uh, the altitude thing set on the um, <clears throat> on the autopilot. We have 15 miles, and they don't don't want us to go down from 7,000 feet. That seems kind of weird. I had to step away a little bit. <laughs> So yeah, you may have noticed that somewhere in the flight, um, I had changed uh, shirts and, and stuff. Yeah, you know, we could we kind of do that in the middle of a flight. Julius, go, go in the room, or go sit down or something. Uh, 
We are 11 miles from the airport, and they want us to climb the 7,000? Really? Well, I mean, we want to give you the full experience here, right? As far as using the um, ATC. Which I thought I said it for 7,000. Once we were up there, but... No, this it just goes back down. <laughs> goes up. Well, it's nine miles from the airport. What are we gonna do? Fly over it at seven, seven thousand feet? Come on now. Three, two, six, two. He didn't change the transponder here. There it is. Now he changed it. Okay, so we're going to be turning the 210 here. And going down, not up. Can't see anything because we're in the clouds, but it's okay. That's why we have our instruments. to left click, not right click. Trying to get ourselves slowed down here. Some more. Now, what did she say? It was three thousand, right? <clears throat> Cessna seven two Lima, contact tower on one two zero 
let the autopilot do that. the airport. Doesn't want seven two lima, fly heading zero nine zero. Fly heading zero nine zero, Cessna seven two lima. Cessna nine seven alpha, you're clear for the touch and go, runway three, two left. Cessna nine seven alpha. So, seven two Lima, turn right heading one four zero. Turn right heading one four zero, Cessna seven two Lima. Okay. So first they're telling us what we're gonna be doing, and then they give us the heading uh, to what we need to do. So yeah, you're gonna be doing uh, left Cessna seven two left fly heading one six zero. Fly heading one six zero, Cessna seven two Lima. See, it's easier for me to control this if I'm just using the autopilot for the headings. Because, as you know, this thing, like, drifts from one side to the other. It's kind of annoying. something down there. I just saw something with red flashy lights. Not sure what. <clears throat> okay, we're coming up to 3,000.
Looks like I have to turn the autopilot. Okay, we're going to fly manually at this point. There it is. Okay, I think I see. You see how it's guiding us? I think it's going to be giving us. Okay, so zero five zero. Destin nine seven alpha, continue left down wind for three. Two left, we'll call your base. Cessna nine seven alpha. Cessna seven two Lima, fly heading zero three zero. Fly heading zero three zero, Cessna seven two Lima. Oops, that was a little too much. Not many city lights. I have my flaps all the way down, and yet we're still going at about a hundred uh, knots. Just a little crazy here. Cessna seven two Lima, clear for the ILS approach runway three two left. There we go. Cessna seven two Lima. Cessna nine seven Alpha, continue left down wind for three two left. We'll call your base. Cessna nine seven Alpha. So this is how ATC directs me. <laughs> Way too high, but it did. Um, it did at least get me lined up somewhat, so that's not too bad. There we go. That's looking about right. Archer three three go. Clear to turn left base for three two left. Archer three three go. Down on the ground. I don't think there are any taxiway uh, taxiways here, though. Ground Cessna Niner five seven two Lima. Cessna seven two Lima. He's gonna call anyway. Taxi to the red. Good day. Cessna seven two Lima. Cessna 
Cessna 97 Alpha, clear to turn left base, Ward 3, two's left. Cessna 97 Alpha. There's something right over here. I saw something over here. <laughs> oh, we'll just uh, spin around in circles, apparently. It's, stop! Here, come over here. We'll park next to the tower. There we go. Yeah, park right here. There we go. Yeah, we'll just park it right here. We'll and switch it so we can get all of our uh, buttons here. We can turn all this stuff off. Turn that fuel thing off and pull this out. And there we go. So uh, we are here at Champaign Urbana, University of Illinois, Willard. So, a oh, bit of an interesting flight. Um, at least, you know, being guided by uh, air traffic control. It seems like we're getting uh, the hang of it a little bit more, um, especially if I set it for having the co-pilot on there, which I didn't do the last flight, but doing it on this one, hey, it worked. Um, not perfectly, but it did work. It did get us to the airport and decently lined up with the, uh, with the runway. We just had to adjust our altitude, but <clears throat> it's pretty good. So anyways, um, thanks so much for watching. I appreciate it. Um, if you haven't subscribed, be sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell so that way you know when a new video is uploaded to the channel because that's important, right? It's one of the most important things. One of the most important things that you could ever do is hit the subscribe button. The second most important thing that you could ever do in your life is go over to Twitch, twitch.tv slash killergamer and follow me there because you can catch me while I'm live doing these flights and you can interact with me and chat and be a part of the show and that is just cool stuff right there. And then, of course, there is social media with Instagram and Twitter and Snapchat, just for fun, just for fun stuff, uh, behind the scenes stuff, notifications and uh, crazy random things. So, <laughs> so if you want to really get involved with the killer community, that's what you do. You go and, and, and follow all those different things. Uh, but yeah, other than that, thank you so much for watching. I appreciate it. I will see you on the next leg of our journey. Have a killer awesome day.